Hello, this is Heather Hoffman and I have a fun Distress Ink uh, blended mini slimline card. Mini slimline cards seem to be super popular right now and I can't help but think they're just kind of the cutest thing ever. So I'm using the July 2021 Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. I picked a fun sentiment there. You can kind of guess where I might be placing that just by how I kind of laid it out with my stamps. And then I picked these three images, um, butterfly, moth, I'm not 100% sure, but um, something with wings that's really cute and pretty. <laughs> I just thought these three were really fun and pretty together. So I've already got a panel there that I have trimmed down to three and a quarter by six and a quarter. Um, that's roughly the size of a mini slimline card. I'll trim this down a little smaller to fit my mini slimline card base, but for now I'm gonna keep it larger. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these with clear embossing ink and then uh, use clear embossing powder for this. I found that's the, if you're using white cardstock, clear embossing powder is the easiest way to keep those images crisp and clear because you can wipe off the extra ink and it'll just show that white cardstock underneath. All right, so I'm gonna use Distress Oxide inks. I'm gonna start off using scattered straw and a blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use that at the bottom and I like to keep a microfiber cloth handy. I keep this for a couple different things. I use it to clean my brush and kind of clean up my workspace and also wipe off any excess ink off of those images on that card base there. So look look how easy that is once I wiped over that butterfly image. Did you see how much it popped? Because the Distress Oxide kind of sticks onto that image to begin with. And then when you clean that extra off, all of a sudden it um, takes that excess off of, it'll, it'll resist the ink. So when you clean it off, you can see that image so much more clearly again. All right, my next color is Speckled Egg. I love just these two tones together. Something about that um, creamy yellow and the blue and then kind of blending over that transition spot a little bit. I went back to that yellow brush and then to the blue so I kind of got a smooth blend in there. Same thing, wipe that ink off of that butterfly. Um, I don't know why I kept doing this. I probably could have just waited till the end but it's so fun to see how everything kind of just magically appears. I feel like this is like those magic uh, paint with water coloring books. I don't know if you ever use those when you were a kid. I used to love those. So, um, cause all of a sudden the butterflies just appear out of the background. That final color was rustic wilderness and it's a great green color. I did the same thing back and forth between the brushes to get a nice smooth blend. Then I'm just cleaning off my work surface really well. I used a wet wipe and then that microfiber cloth and a clean little spot on there just to clean all that excess off. Then I trimmed a small little bit around all four edges. Um, probably about an eighth of an inch on each side so that I'd get um, an even border all the way around. Now I'm going to mix in a little bit of just ordinary distress ink. This color is vintage photo. I just wanted to kind of kind of make it look a little more vintage and old. I love that color combo already, but adding a little bit of this rich brown color on the edges just kind of helped tone it down, add, add that kind of rustic vintage feel to it. Um, not my usual style all the time, but... Every now and then it's fun just to play with lots of ink and do that. All right, I did wipe off those butterflies again to make sure there were no stray bits of ink on there. Then I smooshed that same color of vintage photo distress ink on my glass mat there, mixed it with a little bit of water and used that to add a few splatters. And then I also pulled out my Starry Colors palette and I'm adding a few splatters on there with that as well, using that kind of coppery gold color. And then we're not done with splatters yet. I also grabbed a little bit of Picket Fence Distress Paint. And I actually didn't, my brush was a little bit wet, but I didn't actually um, thin this down. I wanted to keep these pretty thick. A tiny bit of water might have been helpful to make those splatter easier. All right, sentiment, I'm heat embossing on white cardstock with antique gold just to fit that vintage feel. Not too bright and shiny a gold, kind of a more of a toned down coppery gold almost. And I'm gonna trim that down. I had to double check. I trimmed that panel down to about three by six inches now. So I went ahead and trimmed that down to the exact width there of that butterfly. I'm gonna mount it on the bottom of that one and then mount that entire thing on my white card base, leaving that nice white border on the edges. And then I finished off with some sparkly espresso colored jewels from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. And there you have it, a fun distress inked vintage card. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day. 